Hey everyone, Anthony here, and I'm back with another tutorial. This video is actually the first time that I'm responding to a viewer request, which is pretty cool. So, a little while back, I got this comment from Figglewiggle. Wiggle. Hey, is it okay if you make a tutorial on how to fade your music slash soundtrack? And I responded saying that an audio tutorial would be cool because I haven't made one yet, so here we are. Thank you for your comment, Mr. Wiggle. Let's jump right in. All right, I've got a sequence set up in my timeline, but it needs music. In this case, I'm just going to grab a music track from Filmora 9's audio library, and I'm just going to grab it and drag it down to my timeline. Maybe I'll trim it right here. Delete that. Okay, let's play it back real quick. Okay, now, as you can see, or in this case here, the music is a bit loud and drowns out my voice while I'm talking. Now, obviously, I want it quiet when I'm talking, but not necessarily when I've got the other clips playing, and this is where audio keyframes come in. Okay, so first, I'm going to drag my playhead over to the beginning of the clip where I'm talking, and then I'm going to double-click on my music track, and this window will pop up over here with a few options. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little dot right here, and you can see that adds a keyframe right where my playhead is. I'm going to scooch my playhead slightly to the side, and I'm going to add another keyframe. Then, let me just resize my timeline real quick. I'm gonna go over here to the end of my clip. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, add a couple of keyframes. Now that the keyframes are placed where I want them, I'm just going to grab this line right here, and I'm going to drag it down very carefully until I have my desired volume level. As you can see, the audio levels are lowered only in between the keyframes, leaving the rest of my sequence untouched. Now, if I want to, I can stretch this out and fiddle with the keyframes a bit to adjust the length of the fade in and fade out, but otherwise, I'm pretty much done. Hey everyone, Anthony here. In this week's video, we're talking about something super cool and super interesting, something so cool and so interesting that you'll have no choice but to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get right into it. Okay, um, because this video is turning out to be a little short, I figured I'd add a little bit more. So, I've been getting a lot of comments from people saying that they hate Filmora 9, that it's laggy, which it can be, and that they're sticking with the old version, which is Filmora 8, for now. Filmora 8 doesn't have audio keyframes, but you can still fade the volume in and out, just with a different trick. So what you do once the audio is in your timeline is use the split tool to break it up into a separate chunk where you want the volume to be lower. In this case, I want the volume to be lower under this yellow gradient, so I'm just going to click right here, and then I'm going to drag the playhead this way, and I'm going to click right here, and I can just click here, and I can lower the volume, let's say, to about, eh, 30. Lowering the volume just for this over here, of course, leaves all of these others untouched, so let's just see what it sounds like real quick. Again, I've outdone myself truly a beautiful piece of content, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So there you go, a quick little trick if you still find yourself using the old version of Filmora. I personally used that method for my videos back when I was still using Filmora 8, and I mean, it works, so. All right, well, that about wraps up this quick audio tutorial. If this video was helpful to you, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. There's also a giant red subscribe button down there somewhere. Um, if you could click that, that'd be great too. But yeah, thanks for watching.